welcome to the first ever Emerging India Awards, saluting the small and medium entrepreneurs of the SME sector. India is a minefield of opportunities for young entrepreneurs and businesses willing to take risks. In any country, it is SMEs that are the driving force. Nothing makes me more proud than giving award and appreciating those companies that have so far been unheard of. The winners of these awards will be viewed as the new icons of Indian industry. Hello and welcome to a special show on the 8th Emerging India Awards. Flagged off in 2005 with the modest 5,000 nominations, the awards have grown to become India's largest SME recognition platform. Now over its 8 year journey, the awards have recognized some path-breaking companies and have become a benchmark of excellence for Indian SMEs. You need these awards in order to celebrate uh, success. These are the future you know, companies, companies which are going to be emerging into bigger league and so on and uh, certainly uh, it has got the generated a lot of enthusiasm and uh, it has a great relevance. I think it's a great initiative because very often we tend to focus on large companies and we really don't take uh, smaller companies seriously. So once we do this through Emerging India and other forums, I think it will encourage younger companies to be more successful, to be more focused on what they do. These are terrific awards. I think they do a lot to get people in the SME sector in India mobilized uh, to come and present and to talk about all the wonderful things that their businesses are doing and so I think uh, these are uh, great awards to be giving out. I think a brilliant initiative more so keeping in mind most of the growth both social and commercial is going to come from this sector. <laughs> The Indian SME story is reading out better than ever before. From a couple of decades ago when it was difficult to set up one's business to the current time when multiple niches offer a plethora of opportunities to SMEs. The SME culture in India has come a long way. Add to that reduction in the failure stigma, presence of incubators and accelerators for SMEs and multiple options of getting funding and the prospects of running your own business in India have never looked better. This is SMEs which create, each company creates 10 jobs to 1000 jobs. So the, essentially this is the uh, route on which the entire economy of the country is built on. In a country like us where we want to emphasize much more on manufacturing growth uh, in order to bring about the balance in our economic growth, uh, we can't do that without the pyramid being supported with a very strong base of small and the micro enterprises. If I compare to the environment uh, say that was prevailing about uh, two decades ago or even a decade ago, uh, there is a lot more of support to entrepreneurship, there is a lot more of uh, courage uh, to be on your own and that is very evident. Uh, so the atmosphere is supportive. I think SMEs have been playing a very critical part in, in, in India's growth story in the past and they will continue to do so. I think it is uh, while each SME aspires to be a bigger corporate, but overall the SME sector will, will remain a critical component. As far as the GDP growth is concerned, I am sure people, big corporates definitely does have a role to play. But these smaller corporates, I would say, so I would not call, call them an SME, I will call them a smaller corporates if they are handled properly, so probably they can really contribute to the GDP growth of the country. Most innovations come from SMEs, most entrepreneurs uh, start as SMEs and it is only SMEs becoming large listed companies uh, which will drive the economic activity of the country. If you are a smart person, uh, if you can navigate through all the elements which are complex, uh, that's the reason you are an entrepreneur. The opportunity in front of you is so huge uh, because everybody else will give up and you will not. I really salute them because despite and in spite everything, uh, they are struggling and they are putting their, you know, the whole heart and soul into creating value. Uh, so it's a, it's, a, it's a major challenge and despite that there is, there is a lot of hunger in them to get it going. SMEs are an important consequent of the Indian economy. We have about 50 million SMEs in the country which employ almost about 80 million people. In spite of these, their contribution to the GDP is sub 20%. 
as compared to some of the other developed countries where the contribution is as, as high as 50%. I think given the footprint that the SMEs have in the country, measures needs to be taken to make the environment more conducive for the SMEs to grow in an accelerated manner so that they can increase their contribution closer to the 50% mark. We have to tread cautiously but optimistically uh, in the sense that uh, you know we cannot assume that all the challenges are over uh, but I think the path that the country is taking uh, seems to be a positive one. With an aim to profile some of the great work that Indian SMEs are doing, we travelled the length and breadth of the country and met 18 promising SMEs. We spoke to them about their journey, the way ahead and some challenges that they foresee. We then put their stories before industry stalwarts who played mentor to the SMEs. In this railway infrastructure, main challenge is now the land acquisition. The land acquisition is getting delayed due to the policy of uh, due to uh, the policies are not clear industry also has to look into products and creating uh, ip based uh, offerings you have to be ahead of everybody else so you need to be innovative you need to work on your offerings you need to learn from your experiences here this is not a business for us this is a this is our mission to provide eco safe uh, solutions and health to everybody We are planning to expand our dealers network and that is how we will be definitely attaining you know the desired or a targeted growth. SMEs must remember that every company that's big today started small. They didn't grow up and suddenly were big. Overnight they didn't turn up, uh, become big. The four mega trends which are driving technology today uh, it's really around um, uh, social networking, it's around um, big data, it's around big data and analytics, it's around um, the mobility and it's also obviously about the cloud. We have a large number of children to be serviced, right? over 300 million children to be serviced and not everyone goes to school. Then not everyone who goes to school completes schools. We have huge dropout rates. India is at the cusp of a very big healthcare revolution. They are there waiting uh, and they should be waiting to, you know, address these wonderfully exciting opportunities. In the last 10 years, the SMEs have really come a long way. Uh, but there is a lot of ground to be covered. I think building credibility is not an easy job at all. And uh, we need to understand building credibility is a time-consuming process. Uh, it's very difficult to build credibility and it's very simple to break it. To maintain the same mindsets and the same policies as we framed in the 1950s is really not realistic. It's not going to work. At least if it works, then the Indian industry is not going to grow and Indian manufacturing is not going to grow. On the other side of this break, a look at the categories and the jury of the Emerging India Awards. Stay tuned. Welcome back. You're watching the curtain raiser of the 8th Emerging India Awards. These awards have become India's largest SME recognition exercise and it's no easy task to pick the winners across different categories. So we put together an exemplary jury to pick the next lot of India's business leaders. The jury consisted of R. Sheshasai, a respected name in business circles. R. Sheshasai is the vice chairman of Ashok Leyland. S. Mahalingam, the former CFO of TCS. His career at TCS has spanned over four decades. Dr. Devi Shetty, a Padma Bhushan awardee. Dr. Shetty is a pioneering cardiac surgeon. Vineet Nair, Vice Chairman and Joint Managing Director at HCL. He has played a key role in turning around the fortunes of the company. Ganesh Natarajan, Vice Chairman and CEO of Zensar Technologies. Ganesh Natarajan is also Co-Chair of the National Knowledge Committee of the CII. Avni Saglani, the youngest CEO in the Tata system. Avni Saglani is the head of their JV with the world-renowned coffee chain Starbucks. 
Vineet Rai, founder and managing director of Avishkar Venture Management Services. Vineet Rai has over 17 years of experience in early stage investing and small business incubation. Deep Kapuria, chairman of auto component manufacturer High Tech Gears. Deep Kapuria is also the chairman of the National MSME Council of CII. Jayant Sinha. Jayant Sinha is the Managing Director of Omidya Network India Advisors, where he leads overall investment strategy and operations in India. Rajesh Agarwal. Rajesh Agarwal is the co-founder and MD of India's third largest mobile brand, Micromax. And Raman Oberoi. Raman Oberoi is the Chief Operating Officer of Crystal, which is India's largest credit rating agency. This year, the awards will be handed out across seven vertical and nine horizontal categories. The vertical categories are Agriculture and Food Processing, Automobile and Engineering, Education, Infrastructure, Life Sciences, Pharmaceuticals and Chemicals, Power and Telecom, and Retail, Trading and Other Services. The nine horizontal categories are Global SME, Most Innovative SME, Women Entrepreneur, Socially Responsible SME, Green SME, Tech Savvy SME, Fastest Growing SME, Small Scale Industry of the Year and SME of the Year. Just as in our previous editions, this year too, our knowledge partners Crystal tabulated and shortlisted the entries received. After doing the preliminary screening, we shortlisted uh, 60 enterprises for each category and each of these uh, you know categories had uh, several consult uh, contestants and we obtained detailed information from these contestants and we carried out a detailed analysis we spoke to the uh, customers suppliers bankers and even to the promoters of these organizations after which we prepared a detailed report and after which we shortlisted three entries from each of these categories uh, which made presentation to the to the jury. Since the Emerging India Awards are handed out across sectors, it was important to ensure that each sector is judged by a group of jurors who have experience in that particular industry. And so the jurors were divided over four rooms, with each room judging four categories. Unable to be physically present, Dr. Devi Shetty joined the proceedings via video conferencing. We show any small thing which happens, I mean, we, we react to that, whether it is good or bad. So that is what has made Ram Sobe into one of the one of the most coveted college within UP in terms of research. In our fifth year itself, uh, this, there is a UP Technical University centralized examination. In our fifth year, we serve off the result of HPDI, which is almost 50 years old institution. <laughs> Even if a customer gets a bag after a year, we say, boss, you know, we will do this, but we will chat certain things since, you know, it's been uh, ripped off after a year or something. So it's a well, uh, we train our sales staff so that, you know, the customer is happy and satisfied. Main thing is that, that in this uh, Indian MNCs, and the right contact to the right person is not possible. Directly going to HR or something is not helping us. So we are kept making that kind of presentation now and going to the companies. We know which companies cater to Japanese market, but uh, getting the share, capturing that share is not as easy as it looks. Raskar was established in 1986 with originally Dr. Deshpandu Gupta, but unfortunately we lost him in 1993. And within a span of 7-8 years, he created a brand called Ralispray. Mrs. Gupta was a housewife with two very young kids. So, uh, she not only learned business, she grew it to this level, wherein we have, we can very proudly say that we have hardly any debt, and we are, have at maximum employee satisfaction, 40% of our employees are still sticking with us. And market penetration, uh, like, it's just not the power sector that we are into. We are into IT also. The raw material here, the agriculture sector is still not very organized. <clears throat> we still have surprises coming, even after 28 years of my working in spice industry. Most of our activities are in defense, so I have, I don't have photographs to show you because they're all in uh, confidential areas. 
So we constructed one of the biggest hangars in Asia with a huge span um, made out of prefabricated structures. Plastic parts we have started uh, around uh, 2007. Uh, we have started, entered into plastic. In between, in 1992, we have put up another plant. We are into uh, large scale uh, greenhouse cultivation. I see. So, restaurant and uh, agriculture, would, restaurant will, I mean, agriculture will remain at a level. Restaurant will grow forward. So, restaurant is passionate and food is evergreen. We first ever uh, JV in India in the leather manufacturing sector. So, we started as a partnership in 1990 and uh, we registered as John Stock. Then we have our offices in Chennai, our factories are in Granite Point, which is a manufacturing part of uh, Finnish Weather, which is 130 meters south of uh, Chennai. And we also have our overseas office in China. Following the presentation, the jurors deliberated amongst themselves as they gave points to the nominees on the judging parameters. Some categories required detailed discussion, while others had a clear winner. Time for us to take a break, but when we return, we talk to the jury and the SMEs about their experience during the jury round. Keep watching the Emerging India Awards. Welcome back. You're watching the curtain raise of the 8th Emerging India Awards. With the jury round done, we asked our jurors for their thoughts on the nominees and what, according to them, were the highlights of the day. Most of these SMEs are coming, back, coming from a very modest background. I know the persistence, I know how difficult it is. In spite of that, they have come up with uh, very good uh, models. And uh, I was very impressed with their persistence, tenacity and the foresight. You know, wherever we have seen passion uh, coming out, passion for the product, passion for the uh, industry that they are in, uh, and uh, uh, going beyond just saying that I'm getting this margin and uh, I'm growing in this fashion, but that I'm uh, completely redefining this space with whatever I'm doing. Those were, some of them are very interesting in that aspect. It was uh, very gratifying to see that uh, you have this representative sample from the small scale industries, uh, which is very confident about the future, uh, tremendous amount of positive energy, and uh, that in the current uh, atmosphere, uh, is something which I feel very happy about. I think the process was pretty structured in the evaluation criteria, but personally I was looking for passion, uh, a unique idea, a perseverance to see it through, and a vision for tomorrow which is so compelling that people will get up from the bed and want to work for you. Uh, there was one particular uh, SME who was extremely good, very passionate about what uh, they were doing, about their products, uh, stood their ground, uh, brought their products on board, uh, and showed us why they are unique and we just love them. I mean, they just energized uh, the whole room. I really found the jury round an eye-opener. You know, your traditional model of an entrepreneur being this young 20-some person who's got uh, stars in his eyes, that's completely changed because there's so many entrepreneurs coming out of the woodwork and irrespective of, you know, age or gender or demographic category and that's very encouraging for India. The only point which is required is you have to think out of the box. You have to innovate faster than your competitors. You have to add the wheel than your competition. That's the only few advice which I would like to give it to the small and medium enterprise. Along with the jurors, the SMEs also tell us about their experience of presenting before a jury. The interaction was very good. The jury were very, uh, very, uh, they responded very well. And uh, it was great to see Dr. Shetty there because he's a philanthropist and our business is based on philanthropy, so I hope we made a connection with that. It was really good, as in they asked us a lot of interesting questions and made us think about our own company and kind of help us evolve into something else that we, we always aspire to be. We assumed that we would start off with a presentation, but then uh, they were like, uh, start off, what do you want to say, and uh, very interactive, very nice. The one question which one of the jury members asked me that are you the star, uh, 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 star performer of your organization to represent it at, at this platform? So I said yes, I am. So that was actually good for me. The jury was quite focused on what they were looking for and uh, it was uh, good to meet them because we got an insight into what they perceive about us and what are the things that they are looking for. So it was nice. They were very patient and listening to what we were. We wanted to present our story basically because it's a different story and they listened to it properly. 
they ask relevant questions. So it's good all in all. Coco Chanel once said that success is often achieved by those who don't know that failure is inevitable. Join us next week as we felicitate and recognize India's best SMEs. SMEs who stand tall in the face of adversity and strive on to turn their failures into success. Till then, from the entire team, thanks very much for watching.